Hey guys, um, I would ramp shampoo my hair, which is why my hair looks like this. I will fix it at the end. Um, so today is um, actually Tuesday. I went to go, um, I forgot that I had said that I was going to upload my full face of pixie on Monday. And then Monday I was ridiculously busy. Um, so I just got back from the eye doctor, nothing crazy, just my eyes to see if my prescription changed, it hasn't. Um, and, um, I still wanted to do a full face of Pixie for you. Now, full disclosure, I've actually been using these products and really, really liking them, but I use them a little bit differently than I do today, but I want to use as much of the Pixie stuff that I have, so... I'm going to do a full face of Pixie. This is going to be a very simple makeup look. Um, nothing crazy. I am going to be using one thing that isn't Pixie, um, but everything else I'm going to try and keep Pixie. Um, technically two things because my eyelash curler isn't Pixie. Um, so I am going to start out with this. This is the um, Flawless and Poreless Primer. I promised myself that I was not going to say... The pixie blah 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 the pixie blah 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 in every same for every single product because I filmed this um, you might have saw you might have saw you might have seen the photo on Instagram if you're following my Instagram um, of me being like oh like I just did a full face of pixie and I'm wearing like a blue shirt and my hair's up in a bun well I did do that but when I number one when I went to um like literally afterwards I was like sitting on the couch watching a uh, BuzzFeed Unsolved if you watch BuzzFeed Unsolved are you a Shaniac or a Bugara I think I'm a Bugara I'm a little bit of a Shaniac um um, but, ooh, I want soda really badly right now. Um, I do like, um, this primer. It's not as, I don't know, it's definitely, like, an interesting primer. Um, the one thing that I'm going to be using that's not Pixie is this pore filling primer. The one that I got is supposed to be pore filling, but for me it just doesn't really do the job because I have craters of pores on my nose, so I really like to get in there with the, the pore filler. But um, I was looking at my video and number one, it was like the longest video ever. I think I was like, I had like 45 minutes of footage, which is like stupidly long. And I'm really trying to keep my video short these days. Like if it's something like a little bit chattier, I'll I'll go into detail. But um, also, I was like sitting watching Unsolved, which is what I was saying before, and I was like, like my face just started getting like feeling like really like heavy. And when last time I did this makeup look, I like when I filmed it on like Friday or something like that, I think it was Friday, um, I used a brush with this foundation. This is the H2O Skin Tint. It's a tinted face gel in the shade number one cream. I will say, Pixie, y'all gotta step up your shade ranges because maybe it's just because where I live we don't have a large population of color um, or a large population of people of color I should say um, or if this is just your shade range but if it is we all gotta step it up because this is very bad because um, that's the other thing too is that this doesn't even go that like pale and it definitely does not go that deep and I know it's just supposed to be light coverage but like, you can still see it on your skin. 
but I really like to work it in around my nostrils and up in here. But I really think that this, I was using it like a foundation and so I was just like putting it on sort of thing. Um, I probably used like three or four pumps of it and it just got thick and cakey and pretty nasty looking, not gonna lie. So like the picture looks decent, but I've learned how to use it much better in the coming days or in the days following since then whatever I'm trying to say um so I like I said in full disclosure I have been oh my god look at my hands like he needs to stop Caitlin this is this is embarrassing you're embarrassing yourself and others um so normally I have actually been going in with this elf bronzed pink beige it's from their like aqua line it's a cream blush and bronzer on this elf foundation blurring brush um but like i said i do want to use pixie so i have blush and bronzer um in powder form so i'm gonna powder now i'm gonna be using the color correcting powder foundation in number one cream i think this came in two or three pale shades <laughs> Um, I do really like it though. It's very, very, um, it does have coverage and I like that, but it's not, it doesn't get cakey or gross or anything like that. And that's also, oh, there's a chat. Oh, sorry. Not my cat. Um, but, um, that's why I do love to use this, like put a cream blush and bronzer on and then put this over it because it just blurs out all the edges and it really does mattify really well, but it's also like almost sinks into the skin and becomes creamy. For those of you who are new here, I have combination skin, so I have dry and oily skin my skin decided not to meet in the middle anywhere at all and just decided to go extremely dry extremely oily um so next I'm going to be um, I'm gonna contour just a little bit just in the very deepest part of where my cheekbones should be um, and I'm gonna do that using this color right here in the middle and this is the book of beauty contour shape and shade book by the way and like I said I'm just gonna do it right in here and then I'm gonna use the shade above to bronze I do wish that I had gotten a bronzer the bronzer there because this um I don't know these little shape and create books are like cute and all but for me I like a bit of a warmer bronzer and a very cool contour so I'm gonna take this um, slightly bigger brush it's a G5 and again I'm gonna take this color up here and I don't know for me these colors look so similar it's kind of scary and I think that technically the color on top is the cooler of the two. I just wish, I'm really excited. I really do want to try those uh, Essence, like my faves pans. I wish that they were bigger because I mean, obviously like a lot of times you use like a bigger brush. Um, when contouring and uh, like bronzing and stuff like that so I just in general I think it would be better to have bigger pans especially because I think there's one that's supposed to be like a face powder too and it like is it's small it's like the size of an eyeshadow so as you can see just to give my face some dimension I bronze and I put bronzer on my nose and my chin my forehead and my temples and just kind of where the sun would naturally hit um, and then I am going to take um, 
this this is normally my foundation brush i think it has a dog fur on it <laughs> um it's the ultimate blending brush i'm gonna mix these two together and i'm gonna kind of highlight a little bit just like kind of try and carve that out oh man my eye bags are bad today Whew. i didn't get a concealer and i think that's because the only two concealers that they had were um whatchamacallit i'm gonna go back over with my powder brush just to help everything blend out um i think it's because they the only two concealers that i could see right there were like correcting concealer so one was like peach like for deeper like darkness um, and the other one was, I think, maybe like pink or something like that. Like maybe brightening, but it was like pink or something. I don't know. Um, it just didn't seem like something that I would personally use. Um, so next, I have been using this for a bit and I'm definitely very torn about it because I... I love the concept of it, but I don't know if necessarily the product is the best just for what I have to do to my eyebrows personally, but it's also been getting the job done and I could definitely see how like maybe if you just wanted to save space, like having your, your brow pencil and your brow gel in the same little package it would be great my biggest problem is that it doesn't have an extra spoolie like a dry one because i like to blend out my product with a spoolie i'm trying not to cover my face as i do this So I will say, I don't know, I definitely, I don't like hating on brands, this isn't like a bashing video or anything like that, I'm not stuck up or snobby or anything. For me personally, it just comes down to, you know, in general, comparing them to other brands. And oh, the, by the way, this is the Natural Brow Duo in Natural Brown. And I'm gonna stick them down with the brow gel. I do really like this brow gel. It's bomb. Like, it definitely sticks your brow hairs down. Like, it's not so pretty. Um, but it's just like, for me, maybe it's partly because I live in Canada and everything is through the roof expensive in Canada. Or something. I don't know. But for me, I just look at this stuff and... You know, this is like a cardboard magnetic, that's not glass, it's like a flimsy plastic that I can pop out. Um, you know, the packaging is clear. You can see that it's drugstore stuff and like this Pixie is sold at like Shoppers here, which is like a Walgreens and Target and stuff like that. Um, you know, and it, don't get me wrong, it's nice, and I really like it. I love the color, I love the feel of the packaging, I love, like, the rose gold accents on it. I really like it, but for me, it's like, like, this was like $32, and that's pretty much, like, I could go, and I think that my Cover FX Power Play, which I think looks a lot more professional and nicer, and, like, this is supposed to be, like, a travel squeeze bottle thing, I think this was like $42 so like only $12 difference between these you get a lot more in this one it's a lot more full coverage and it lasts on my skin really well and that's not to say that this doesn't last on my skin it's okay it's decent it's not horrible by any means but it's also like okay like this 
Okay, this is their lip icing and I love supporting other YouTubers because yeah, sure, eventually I would love to be a YouTuber that does a collab and I hope that other people are going to be happy for me and that they'll support me. But so I, I support other YouTubers and I'm generally happy for them, you know, seeing their success is really awesome. But, you know, a full disclosure, I'm just going to put some of this on. This is the lip icing and cake. I need to stop talking so much. You know, I don't know why I'm paying so much for plastic green packaging. And I know that sounds absolutely awful. And I know that their stuff, you know, has really good ingredients and stuff like that in it. But I also sit there and look at it and I'm like, like, why am I paying, you know, 20 something dollars? Like, I think this was like in the 30s. And it's beautiful. By the way, this is the Rose Romantica or the Romantic Ro Radiance Chloe Morello palette. I'm going to be using this top blush right here. Um, and it's a very like shimmery blush. Like it gives you like a glow. But the pigment is there and it's pretty. Um, and then I'm going to mix these two top shades for my highlighter. I go on the brow bone and my orbital bone the nose, and Cupid's bow. But yeah, for me, that's kind of like where I'm at with the whole pixie thing. Is that I just, I really, really, really want to like it. I'm going in with this taupe shade over here on a fluffy blending brush. And I'm just going to hit my crease with it but it's just like like I said maybe things are better priced in America but for me it just I don't know I feel like I'm paying like Sephora prices and um, I'm gonna use I'm just gonna use this a light wash of this shade here Um, but yeah, I'm kind of confused as to why I'm paying Sephora prices for, you know, this stuff. Like, if you want to be in Sephora and you want to, you know, have those as your prices, it's perfectly fine. But, okay, I'm going on a rant now. I'm going to use the Extra Eye Bright Liner in number two, Extra Bright, and I'm actually going to use my camera as my thing I actually really really like this it goes in the waterline really well and it does brighten your eyes as you can see and then I'm going to be using the um, lengthy fiber mascara in fiber black first I'm gonna curl my eyelashes just the elf eyelash curler and I believe it is a dollar let me know if you guys want to see a full face of elf I also want to do a full face of BH because a long long time ago at this point like several months ago I ordered a ton of BH stuff And I technically filmed a haul. But I can't get it off of my computer to do anything with it.
Okay. Gonna set everything down with the Makeup Fixing Mist. Mm, I love this stuff. And that is the final makeup look. So very, like I said, very natural, very pretty. I now need to go to work. Ooh. I'm gonna get a feel for what my hair looks like and stuff like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you like more videos like this and let me know what other one brand tutorial you'd really like to see. I love you and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!